Hey, 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 Karen Mina here with the Fit and Healthy After 40 Club. In this quick video, I want to share a few tips on how to avoid the 3 p.m. slump and the dreaded nighttime snacks. But first, in case we haven't met yet, my name is Carmina Mevs. I am a precision nutrition level one coach, and I work with health conscious women over 40 who want to lose up to 10% of their body weight in 90 days or less so that they can look and feel their best without giving up the food that they love or and spending hours at the gym. And just so you know that you're in the right place, Please note that I don't have any secret strategies or underground tips. These are the same strategies and tips that the fit and healthy use in their everyday life to stay in shape, shape whether or not they do so consciously. <laughs> now, I'm curious, have you ever wondered why you feel an afternoon slump right around 3 p.m.? and why those cravings become almost impossible to manage at night. Well, it all starts with how your day begins and what you eat throughout the day. The good news is that if you're struggling with nagging sugar cravings, I'm going to show you clear, proven, and easy to use strategies to kick your cravings to the curb. Sounds good? Okay, let's dig right in. It all starts with breakfast. Eating a healthy breakfast with protein and healthy fat can set you up for a day that's not filled with cravings for junky and sugar-laden foods. It's one of the most important things that you can do to st set yourself up for success all day long. What about lunch? Well, if your go-to lunch is pasta salad, a big sandwich or a la large heavy meal, you will inevitably hit that afternoon slump. Heavy meals can make us feel tired because the body works hard to digest all that food. And large portions of carbs at lunch cause the classic blood sugar spike and crash, which will leave you reaching for more of the same in a couple of hours. So make sure that your lunch contains proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbs. It can take your body a little bit of time to break old habits. So if you find yourself in the afternoon um, having you know, a 3 p.m. crash, craving all the things that you shouldn't be eating, well, you can try one of the following snacks to help you get through it. Try having a handful of oven ro roasted chickpeas. A turkey and veggie roll-ups with mustards, not yet, not mayo. Uh, coconut fat bombs, they are delicious, and I have a recipe for you below this video. Veggies and hummus. Boiled eggs, you can stuff it with guacamole. Yummy. And or celery sticks with unsweetened peanut butter. What about nighttime? Well, at night after dinner, the worst thing that you can do is eat a large portion of refined carbs or sugar. Because what it's going to do, it's going to destabilize your blood sugar before bed and throughout the night. You will wake up feeling sluggish, tired, or grumpy in the morning. Even worse, you may wake up craving sugary breakfast foods. So, what constitute like bad snacks at night? Well, think of a bag of candy while you're watching Netflix, dessert after dinner, or a bag of flavored chips filled with added sugar. Apart from the day after effects of nighttime snacking, what you know, snacking on sugary or highly refined carb foods is a surefire way to disrupt sound sleep and not sleeping enough or not sleeping well can lead to weight gain. In an ideal scenario, it's best to stop eating after dinner and at least two hours before you go to bed. If you have a long history of late night eating, again, I know it can be hard to kick the habit. And nobody likes to go to bed hungry. So until your body is used to your new routine, you can start with replacing your regular go-to after dinner snacks with one of these healthy alternatives. 
you can try the chocolate avocado pudding. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually really tasty. You can try boil edamame with salt, veggie slices with almond butter, herbal teas are wonderful at night, and you can even try a banana peanut butter smoothie. Again, I have the recipe for you below. But remember, you want to keep the portion sizes small. All right? So now, as simple and as powerful as the, this strategy may be, the most important thing that you need to understand is that eliminating sugar cravings is only a small part of an effective weight loss strategy. To be truly effective, especially if you're a woman over 40, your strategy should also include solutions to reboot your metabolism, balance your hormones, and reduce inflammation. Why? Well, because as we age, hormones can become imbalanced and those imbalances can affect your energy levels and your ability to lose weight. Also, chronic inflammation can cause weight gain and make it difficult to lose weight. And did you know that your metabolism can decrease by 10% every year if you don't do anything about it? Yep, these are all the things that are stacked up against you when, once you um, once you reach the age of 40. It's not as easy to lose the weight as it, as it was when we were younger, right? I'm sure you've noticed that. So I am currently looking to partner up with four health conscious women this month who want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to build and implement a proven weight loss plan that's customized to your metabolic body type, your goals, and your lifestyle. If you are actively looking for help in your weight loss journey, please click the button below this video to request a no-cost, no-obligation consultation with me. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.